Police in Colorado are studying the Batman movies and comic books to learn more about the mind of the killer in Aurora. And as we also said, police departments around this country are sending extra security to guard theaters showing that movie tonight. Here's ABC's Dan Harris. The movie event of the summer has tonight become a massive security concern. At AMC theaters, nobody's allowed in with a mask or a fake weapon. Fans we spoke with were mindful but undeterred. No part of you is thinking, I don't know if I want to go see this movie. No, 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 I want to see this movie. Just because one person decided to do it doesn't mean that it's going to happen in cities all over across America, I don't think. Despite a strong start at the box office, the studio, Warner Brothers, is reeling with the suspect, James Holmes, allegedly telling police, I am the Joker. He dyed his hair, possibly to look like the character in this scene. He also allegedly rigged his apartment with elaborate booby traps, a favorite weapon of the Joker, who gleefully executes elaborate, lethal crimes and was once described by the actor Heath Ledger as a murdering, schizophrenic clown with zero empathy. Introduce a little anarchy everything becomes chaos. To call the Batman movies dark would be an understatement. One of the comics that inspired the movie even showed a bad guy shooting up a movie theater. The director of the movie says that grit and moral ambiguity is exactly what resonates with fans. They are going to be a little unsettled uh, in the way that we want them to be. Batman is not the first movie to provoke copycats. Columbine shooters reenacted scenes from The Matrix and Natural Born Killers was blamed for eight murders. Experts say movies aren't the cause of these killings, only the inspiration. Maybe, even in his mind, maybe he was becoming part of the movie. Look what this person can do. Look at the power that they have in their hands. And tonight we're outside a movie theater in Manhattan where at times there have been lines, Diane, around the block. And just moments ago, we got a statement from the director of the movie who says, quote, the movie theater is my home and the idea that somebody would violate that innocent and hopeful place in such an unbearably savage way is devastating to me.